Hey guys, Cassie Deputy at DeputyTribe.com. Um, you can see my faux fireplace in the background. Hope you enjoy that. It is quiet hour here in our household. Um, so for one hour, so we got about 45 minutes left. Um, everybody gets books and their Bibles. So here's the book I'm working on right now. And my Bible's right here. And we just spend time reading and the house is quiet. So this gives me time to kind of unwind from our morning of school. Um, but I wanted to come on here and I wanted to share with you guys what happened with Willow this week. Um, so as many of you know, we found many food allergies in our kids this last year in 2020. It's just the year of fantastic news. Um, so we have been dairy free, gluten free, almost virtually egg free sugar-free um, we didn't do grains for a long time we still can't do oats some of us still can't do oats but um, I am pregnant and still nursing Willow um, and so concerned about my health and my milk production I wanted to try some raw milk with Willow um, so I got some raw milk from my friend from the farm we used to go to and I gave her a bottle and all of a sudden she had two little spots on her belly. And then all of a sudden it was like watching a television screen and her skin just started moving and blowing up. She started coughing and her voice changed and she was sneezing and coughing and wheezing and it was just terrible. So immediately I ran into the kitchen and I just got Benadryl and gave it to her. And we had 911 on speed dial and it took about 20 minutes for her coughing and her wheezing to stop. And then it took about an hour for her hives to finally start going away. Um, so I called our pediatrician and we took her in and they gave me two EpiPens for her and they told me not to add any new foods to her diet right now. They did an allergy test with her and then um, they just hired a new allergist at their clinic that does um, natural treatments for allergies and asthma. So I scheduled all seven of our kids with her in a couple weeks. Um, and she puts together natural plans with supplements. And you know how people get like allergy shots? She does something like that, but it's drops. So there's no injections and nothing like that. So we're gonna meet with her and probably get the other two kids that I haven't tested, Duke and Evelyn, um, and then come up with a treatment plan. But the most exciting part about all of this was the president of the Weston A. Price Foundation, Sally Fallon, 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 Sally Fallon, called me. This was really exciting for me. Um, so we've been following the Weston A. Price Foundation since the twins were like four-ish, five-ish, and it totally revolutionized our entire home. Um, we started doing little bits by little bits, um, eating better, buying animals, raw milk, fermenting foods, bone broths, liver meats, um, I mean the whole nine yards. So if you guys watch my videos, um, that's where I get a lot of my inspiration and our eating habits is from the Weston A. Price Foundation. Um, and then I've read Weston A. Price's book, um, Nutrition and Physical Degeneration, which is really good. Um, so we followed that diet, and with that diet, my daughter's bleeding disorder and autoimmune disease is gone. My twins' lead poisoning is under control. Um, so all of my health issues, all of them, are gone. With I had endometriosis, PCOS. I mean, I had every single, I had food allergies out this world. I had all sorts of issues, and they are all gone. Uh, following the Weston A. Price Foundation diet suggestions. So, the president called me and was curious about our story and started asking me a lot of questions. Um, the curious thing is my kids and my sister's kids all started developing food allergies about the same time on the same raw milk. Um, so the first thing we talked about was the source of the raw milk and she didn't seem to see any issues there. Um, and then the second thing was uh, she talked a lot about the 5G networks and Wi-Fi towers and buildings, or towers and meters. Um, so I explained 
that 5G was unrolled here, I think last year sometime, and that's kind of when our allergy started. I think it was a year or two ago. And then now where we live is a hot spot for 5G and internet and things. Um, and my sister as well, and just all this stuff. And so she gave me a whole bunch of recommendations and a lot of them I'm already doing. So Willow is to eat lots of liver meats, lots of bone broths. Um, when I make the stock, I'm supposed to grind up the bones really soft and mix it with her liver purees and her food purees. Um, and then give her um, cod liver oil. Um, the bones are to help with calcium, which I, which was really funny because if you watch my YouTube channel, I just started powderizing them and capsulizing them for my kids to take. Um, so I was really encouraged by that. Uh, lots of fermented foods, and but her number one recommendation was that we move. She suggested we move away from the city. Um, so that we're not around all the 5G and stuff because clearly it's taken an effect on our family's health and that's what she thinks is the issue. Um, so I don't know where we sit with that, obviously, but, but it was really, really cool to talk to her. Um, I can't believe she called me personally and I have her phone number and email now and she wants me to continue to go back and forth with her and update her on how things are going. So that's really exciting. And if you guys have never looked into the Weston A. Price Foundation, please do. They are amazing. Like, the information that they have is exquisite. It's a diet that's worked for all people groups throughout all of history. Um, and it, it, it targets what's in common with all of the different traditional ways of eating. Um, so that's really exciting for me and for our family. And... Uh, as scary as it was. So I have EpiPens for Willow now. I have to go get them. They're like $400, crazy. And I hope that I never have to use them. But uh, but for now, the pediatrician said, do not introduce any new foods. And if you do, you need to be in the emergency room parking lot. Like that's how anaphylactic she is. So I'm wrestling with nursing and not nursing because when I nurse, she gets red spots on her face still. So I don't know if she's reacting to my breast milk now. Um, and she's almost a year, so I'm wrestling with that back and forth, but we'll see what we decide to do there. Um, and then when I get her allergy results back, I will jump back on here and we will talk about those things. But um, yeah, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I did make her a batch of the Weston A. Price liver-based meat formula that they recommend for babies. Um, she's been drinking a little bit of it, and I'm hoping she gets used to it because I'm going out of town this week, and I don't want her to use the breast milk that I stored in the freezer because I don't know if I ate dairy. When I pumped those, they were like old milks. I don't think I did. I don't think I've been on dairy for a really long time, but um, I did eat some trail mix and um, after I nursed her, she broke out in hives everywhere. So I'm gonna try to get her on this liver-based formula. I have all the ingredients and keep her tasting that every day. So hopefully when I'm out of town, she'll drink that as a replacement for nursing while I'm gone. And then I'll just pump and dump while I'm out there and nurse her when I get back. Um, so that's kind of our update. Uh, if you can be praying for our family and for our kids, we're navigating and praying over what decisions to make. I'm really excited about this allergist. Um, the unfortunate part is lots of expenses with the medical, um, lots of co-payments and reimbursements we gotta wait on and things like that. So, so that's kind of a bummer, but we're really trying to be um, diligent and wise with our finances and our goal is still to move, so we're trying to save up as much of that money as we can. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes, and we'll see what progression we take. God bless.